Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Statesman SKAF 08017BK dual zone air fryer. And what I want to do today is to show you around the air fryer, some of the features and benefits that it offers. Just before I start, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just give us a quick thumbs up. So the first thing we need to do is to get the air fryer unboxed. Now, let's see what we've got here. Because I always like unboxing items uh, on videos. Uh, just really because it means I've not actually had a look at it beforehand. And I promise I've not unboxed any of these and had a, a pre-look at it. Uh, that's one of the... Uh, one of the items to go within the uh, within the basket. So it's quite a lot thinner than some of the other ones I've seen. Interesting to see what the rest of the air fryer is like. So well packaged at the top. I must admit there's nothing worse than having uh, any items really when they're not packaged that well and we had a uh, there was a certain brand that we had quite a high returns rate purely because the packaging wasn't that great. Uh, nothing to do with Statesman or um, it was quite a few years ago. But uh, after several complaints then they in improved the packaging and it was all, all better. But anyway, let's have a quick look. So again, the packaging at the bottom is the same. That's very good. There we have one dual zone air fryer. And on first impressions, uh, similar to some other brands, it's like a, a matte finish. It's quite a nice, quite a nice look actually. I will take the sticker off for now because that's that's not going to be required while I do the video. But that's just giving you, just showing you what's what the display is like. But I'm going to get it plugged in in a moment. Uh, you've got the, I suppose, the toilet transit tape. That's just the tape on, on the side there, just to stop the drawers opening while it's in, uh, in transit. And we've got the dual basket, but uh, what I want to do is I'm just going to go and get the mains lead, uh, get some of the packaging put to the side and get it plugged in. I've got my mains lead, just before I plug it in, I'm just gonna have a quick measure to show you the dimensions of it. Now, first of all, the width of the air fry you're looking at 38 centimeters or just under 15 inches. The height of it, so we're looking at 30 centimeters or around 12 inches. And the depth, so front to back, uh, if we're going all the way back, because uh, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll show you now. Uh, just on the back here, you've got these parts. And I suppose it, it acts as a double thing, really. First of all, it stops it being pushed all the way back to the wall. Uh, also, you can wrap the mains lead around it, which is a really good idea, actually, because I think for some people, you're either going to keep it on the worktop or some people will put it in a cupboard. Um, it depends which one of those you are. Wait, wait, what, what, put my teeth back in. What would you do? So if you've got one, an air fryer like this, or if you have got one, do you either keep it on your worktop or do you put it in a cupboard away? Because uh, we have quite a mixed reaction with some of our customers. Anyway, as far as the depth on the air fryer, if you go into, so just to the front, and including this part of the back, then you're looking at 35 centimeters or around 13 and a quarter inches. If you're going to include the handles as well, because they do protrude quite a bit, then you're looking around, uh, around 15 inches, well, 15 and a half inches or around 39 centimeters. So I always recommend just having a quick measure, make sure it'll fit in the space before you buy one. Now I've got the air fryer plugged in. I did just have a quick measure of the mains lead and it's actually exactly a metre long. So if you're not too sure how far you've got to go into a plug in the kitchen, then you've got a metre and you should be okay. So I've just zoomed into the display a little bit nearer. Uh, it should be a lot easier to see now. Now, first of all, just before we start, I'll just show you this. It does come with a recipe book. Uh, this is, it's got some basic recipes in, I suppose covering a lot of the different options on here, which I'm gonna go through in a moment. Uh, but it, I always think it's really nice when a manufacturer has gone to the effort of uh, coming up with a handful of recipes. And I must admit, there's some really good ones in here that cover a lot of the different options. Anyway, I'll just put that to the side for now. Uh, you'll see at the top here, so you've got a really nice white LED display. Uh, there are other brands that are different colors, but 
Personally, I always prefer a white LED display. I just think it's a little bit easier to read. It is all touch control on here. So depending on which, op which option you want, you just select which one you want and then it will change the display according to which option you've chosen. The capacity on this model is 8 litres, so you're looking at well, 4 litres each draw. Uh, it's always recommended to put the crisper basket in here. Uh, you will notice that you've got these like, little rubber sides on here, so what it will do is it will actually uh, stop it scratching. Because it's a non-stick surface, then it stops anything getting stuck at the bottom, which can be really frustrating. Uh, but the other, I suppose the main advantage of this is that it's completely dishwasher safe. So you can just pop it in the dishwasher if you want to. Uh, personally, I'm not probably a huge fan of putting the main basket into the dishwasher. I think the real reason is that if you're going to wash it on a high temperature, then the finish on the front might, uh, over time, um, and I, I don't know for definite, but what it might do is it might look slightly different to the rest of the air fryer. Uh, I have seen it with other air fryers where people have put the put this basket into a dishwasher and after several washes, it was probably nine or ten washes, it started to go a slightly different colour. And when you've got it on display on your worktop all the time, it just looks a little bit silly. So personally, I'd uh, just wash these in hot soapy water, uh, but clearly the main crisper basket, if you want to put that in the dishwasher, then feel free. Um, let's pop the other one in there because this is going on our display today because we've not long had these ones in. So that's in and all ready to go. As far as the options on the top here, uh, you do actually get a quite a good guide that shows you some of the different cooking times and the different temperatures. Uh, so the first one will be the air frying. Now I suppose most people are going to be buying this for the air frying option. That's why it's called an air fryer. Uh, but what you've got the option to do is you have the option to use either one drawer. So you can either use the left drawer, the right drawer, or you can combine the two. Uh, now that's a really good option. So if you're going to cook something, say a huge batch of uh, say chicken nuggets, then if you had loads of kids around, if you had a party and you just wanted to cook a whole load of chicken nuggets, then you can have the, what they call the dual cook. That's already set on there. And what you do is you will adjust the temperature and the time accordingly. So if you were to change the time like that, you can see it's changing on both drawers. Another option you've got on here is you've actually got something called sink. And what that will do, if you have, if you're cooking separate items, so for example, if you had chips in one side and if you had chicken nuggets in the other, and if one was going to take longer than the other, then what it would do is it will actually finish them at the same time. So for example, if one of them was going to take say 20 minutes, the other was going to take 15 minutes. So even though you've pressed start to enable everything to cook, it will actually delay the one that is going to take 15 minutes. So it will delay it by five minutes and start the one at 20 minutes, just so that everything is nice and hot at the end. And that's it again, it's little features like that that can make a huge difference when it comes to the operation of the air fryer. Now I'll just cover some of the some of the options along here. So clearly the air fryer is the main one that people will use. Uh, the default temperature is 190 degrees, uh, and the default time is 15 minutes. Uh, you do have the option to change the temperatures. So on on this one, you can go all the way down to 80 degrees. So I'll just show you that. Yeah, so 80, and it goes all the way up to 200. Uh, I'm not going to show you on every program. Uh, and the range time is 1 to 60 minutes. Uh, and then the next one is the roast option. Um, I suppose with roast, it's a bit more traditional cooking. Uh, and with that one, uh, it goes from 80 to 200 degrees again. And again, 1 to 60 minutes. Uh, then you've got broil. Uh, so with that one, it, the, the default temperature is slightly higher at 200 degrees. Uh, and that's just at 200, so you don't have the option to, to change that. Uh, and that's only 1 to 30 minutes. Next one is bake. So if you're into your uh, baking, if, if you want to make some cakes or a pudding or something in here, then that's a, a really good option. Uh, the range temperature from that is 80 to 200 again. And again, 1 to 60 minutes. Reheat. So sometimes you might want to reheat something that if you've had a dinner, say the day before, just pop it in here quickly. 
uh, the the temperature on this is slightly different so although it's 80 to 200 again the default temperature is a lot lower at 120 degrees uh, and the default time is a lot quicker clearly if you're only reheating something it's not going to need to be you're not fully cooking it all you're doing is just reheating it uh, dehydrate this is an option which is on quite a few air fryers uh, personally I think it's something that gets overlooked quite a lot because uh, with things like snacks now you're never too sure how much like the sugar content or salt content and personally I think over the last two or three years people are a lot more conscious about what they're eating or what the children or family members are eating and I think dehydrating of things like fruit and vegetables is fantastic I, I have done it several times for, for my kids um, I did have a in one of my other YouTube videos, I did have a dehydrator uh, that I use on the odd occasion. And I must admit, things like the dehydrated bananas uh, are absolutely fantastic. Um, they're very, very simple to do. Just cut up some bananas, pop them in here. You'd use the crisp, crisper basket as well. Um, it just allows the air to circulate around the, the basket at the bottom. Pop them on there. And with this one, it's a much, much longer program. You know, so it's not something that you're going to do in five minutes. Uh, but it's a much lower temperature, so 55 degrees for eight hours. Um, and the, the, the temperature range is between 35 and 80. So it's, again, much lower temperatures than cooking as standard. Uh, but for that one, you can actually use it for an hour up to 24 hours. So really, depending on what you were dehydrating, you could dehydrate something for up to 24 hours. So it's a, a hugely long program. But it's certainly worth something if you've got one of these or if you've got an air fryer with a dehydrate option then certainly have a look at it and the next option on here is the keep warm option uh, clearly that's going to be a, um, a setting on here that if you were to cook something beforehand and if all you want to do is keep it warm that's really the idea and that's why the temperature on it is much lower so on that one it's at 50 degrees uh, you can vary it between 40 and 100 uh, and again, you can vary it between 1 and 60 minutes as far as the duration of the program. And the final option on here is the French fries. And with the French fries program, you've got the option to go between 80 and 200 degrees centigrade. And also the time, you can vary it between 1 and 60 minutes. Now, a feature that's really good on here is called Shake. And what that will do, that will give you a reminder to just take the basket out, shake it quickly, and then pop it back in. Uh, you've got the option to do it uh, normally a couple of times during the program and that's good for I suppose things like the french fries or things like chicken nuggets or there's a whole range of other types of food where it's recommended to just give it a quick shake uh, just to move everything around within the basket. I just wanted to give you a quick overview of some of the features and programs that the dual zone air fryer offered. I hope you enjoyed the quick video on the Statesman dual zone air fryer. Please give us a thumbs up on a YouTube video, leave any comments below. I always ask for comments, whether it's good or bad, about the video. If you've come here to watch a specific feature or something that I haven't mentioned, then just pop it in the comments, because I've got one of these on display, and hopefully I should be able to help you. If you have got one of these, or any of the Statesman air fryers, then let me know what you think about it, because I'd always appreciate the feedback. Thanks for watching.